Hello and welcome to this topic, expectation. In many situations, the outcome of an experiment varies from one trial to the next. For instance, a toy coin will sometimes land on heads, sometimes tails. One car battery may last 20 months, another may last 40 months. We say that the outcome of an experiment is random if the outcomes vary from one trail to another. But that in the long run, that is, after a large number of replications, there is a regular distribution of outcomes. Some outcomes occur frequently, such as arriving safely at your destination after flight. Whereas, some events occur infrequently, such as winning the lottery. We use probability to measure how likely outcome or events are. An event that is almost sure to occur has probability near 1. An event that will rarely occur has probability near 0. An event that is just as likely to occur as not, such as getting a height on one toss of a fair coin, will have a probability of one half. In general, the probability of event is a proportion of times in the long sequence of trails that the event will occur. If A is event, that is, a set of possible outcomes, then we denote the probability of A by P of A. Probabilities must satisfy the following properties. First, the probability of A greater than or equal to zero, less than or equal to one for every event A. Second, if S is a set of all possible outcomes, called the sample space, then the probability of S is one. Third, if events A and B are disjoint, that is, they have no outcomes in common, then the probability of A or B is equal to the probability of A plus probability of B. Actually, a stronger condition is required, but for now, that will do. A rule that assigns a numerical value to the outcome of experiment is called a random variable. It is customary to use capital letters to denote random variables and the lowercase letters to denote possible or actual value for the random variables. The probability distribution of x, that is, a listing of all possible values of x, together with their corresponding probabilities, would be displayed in a table like this one, such as this is the distribution of x. So, when x is 0, the probability is 1, 8. When x is 1, the probability is 3 over 8, and so on. An important concept in probability and statistics is that of the expectation of a random variable. Here is a definition. Expectation of a random variable. If x is a random variable with probability distribution of this list, then the expectation of x, denoted as e of x, also called the mean of x, and denoted as mu, is mu is e of x is equal to x1 times p1 plus x2 times p2, and so on. We learned the formula for the center of mice. So, could you find the relationship between the formula for the center of mice and the expectation?
you can think about it. All right. Since the sum of probability is one, that is, all probabilities must sum to one. Then the formula e of x is the same as the formula for the center of mass of a finite set of particles having masses p1, p2 until pn, located at positions x1, x2 to xn. Recall that. The center of mass is equal to capital M over little m, that is, the total moment over the total mass. Then it's equal to the sum of xi pi over the sum of pi. But here, for probability, you see, the sum of the probabilities is one, so actually it is equal to the sum of xi times pi. And it's equal to the expectation of x. All right. Now let's see one example together. Jordanson, would you like to read the problem for me? Example one: Plastic parts are made twenty at a time by injecting plastic into a mold. The twenty parts are inspected for. Defects such as voids, bubbles inside the part, and cracks. Suppose that the probability distribution for the number of defective parts of the twenty is given in the table below. Find a the probability that a batch of twenty parts contains at least one defective part. And b, the expected number of a defective parts per batch of twenty. Good job. What do you think about the first question? Solution: The probability of x greater than or equal to one equals the probability of x equals one plus the probability of x equals two plus the probability of x equals three. Which equals zero point zero six plus zero point zero three plus zero point zero one, which equals to zero point one. On the other hand, we can see from the table that probability of x, which is greater or equal to one, is equal to the probability of x is not equals to zero, or probability of zero equals zero point nine. So. Probability of x greater than or equal to one equals zero point one. All right, very good, Jonathan. Now let's solve the problem B together. All right, the expected value for the number of defective parts is e of x, and according to that table, we have that it's equal to zero times point nine zero plus one times point. Zero six and so on, and we can find that the sum is point fifteen. Thus, on average, we have expect that zero point fifteen defective part per batch. Well, we discuss the concept of expectation. In the next class, we will study the application of calculus in probability. See you next time.